All right guys, excuse me if my face is like red and a little puffy. I literally just woke up from a nap because that is where I kind of am right now in this pregnancy. Welcome to my 38 week update. I am just, oh my gosh, so ready to have this baby. The Mamaru is set up behind me. We have the bassinet set up, our hospital bags are packed, the car seat is in the car, ready to go. We are totally set and ready to have this baby whenever he or she decides to make their arrival. And I'm hoping that it's soon because this last week has been really challenging for me. And every time I sit down and film one of these updates, I'm like, oh my gosh, is this gonna be my last update? <laughs> and I really hope this one is. Um, I am 38 weeks and like a day or two right now. Um, and yeah, like I'm saying, this last week has been really, really challenging mentally as well as physically for me. Um, I have been having a lot of pre-labor signs and so this whole kind of process of early labor, pre-labor, what's going on um, happened for about a week or two with my daughter. Um, so her started around 38 weeks. I was, you know, feeling stuff in 39 weeks they like really exploded and um, really just thought I was gonna go into labor at any moment and then she did not come until her due date so um, we have no idea what's gonna happen this time around obviously but the same thing has kind of been happening so um, right when I turned 37 weeks I started just feeling really awful um, I'm feeling a lot of pain in the bottom of my belly like my ligaments are just like stretched to their max um, and I'm having lots of sharp, sharp pains um, in those muscles, um, as well as pelvic pain. I feel like my bone is going to just explode into a million pieces. Um, part of me feels like it's gonna rip apart, like there's just so much pressure on that bone, and it's hurting me so bad. Um, and so this last week, it's just been even more so than usual. And like the lightning crotch and all of that is still there. Um, I've for the most part gotten used to it, but it's this pain and pressure um, that has been really hard. And I've also been just feeling like my body is so worn out. My body's so tired, physically trying to do things that I normally would normally do is just hard like trying to bend down and play with my daughter or pick up you know her toys at the end of the day um trying to load the dishwasher just like the motion of bending over makes my stomach hurt so bad in those like that those lower parts i don't know if i had this with my daughter i just i feel like i don't remember a lot um but I would go back and like watch her updates and I'd be like, oh, I did kind of feel that. Um, but this is just like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Um, another thing that I actually did have with her that has been kind of freaking me out this time um, has been like numb, like shooting pain on the inside of my thigh, which I talked about in my, in my 40 week update with her. Um, so it's interesting that I'm having it so much earlier this time. So it feels like sciatica but on the inside of your thighs and it just goes all the way down my legs and it makes my legs feel almost like, it's just like a nerve, like the baby's hitting a nerve. Um, it feels like my legs are going numb a little bit. And like, I just have to sit down. Like I cannot stand up very much right now. Um, it's just like, oh my gosh i'm like okay okay when is this gonna be over and i've really been battling a lot of feelings of guilt like guilt that i'm not able to keep up with my daughter right now the way that she wants me to i'm not able to play with her um i feel like i'm just a little bit on edge because physically i feel so bad and when you're in pain and you're uncomfortable um just every little thing makes you frustrated easily and so that's kind of the stage that i'm at and it makes me feel really guilty because she doesn't understand why i feel so miserable she doesn't understand that this is you know hard on me and and it's not her fault but sometimes i like it it seems like i'm taking it out on her which is not my intention at all and um i've just been having a lot of mom guilt over that and i want to be able to like enjoy the end of my pregnancy and enjoy these last few you know weeks with the baby inside my belly because i know that once that's gone, that's gone. And this is a special time that this baby and I get to bond and I don't wanna wish it away. Um, and I feel like I definitely am as well. So um, a lot of just mentally like, oh, it is just, is a lot going on. But it's the end of pregnancy. 
that's so normal that's just what everyone feels um i've been trying to purposely make myself rest um, and take it easy because i do have a tendency to overdo it which makes me feel worse um, so when I put my daughter down for a nap I just lay with her and we just cuddle and it's a special time for her and I to have one-on-one -on -one, and then it allows me to just rest and so I'll sleep for like half an hour or an hour and it really helps get me through the second half of the day because at night I am not sleeping at all um, I'm waking up to go pee like every hour I feel like and I'm waking up in pain um, contractions are waking me up and I just feel like I'm not getting consistent sleep whatsoever um, and then my daughter still wakes up so there's just a lot of factors going on that are preventing me from getting any sleep right now and so the naps have really been helping so I have been having some pre-labor signs um, aside from just like my normal pregnancy symptoms. And the first one is I lost my mucus plug. So that happened um, a few days after 37 weeks. Um, that was really exciting and it made me kind of nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, this really is happening soon. And it just kind of put my head in gear and I was already in crazy nesting mode and it just like made it explode. And my husband and I wrote our lists out and we just both went to town and got everything ready. I was cleaning like madness um, and just little tiny details that are not important for bringing a baby home um, like fermenting my dog but I really wanted to do it so we got literally all of that done and now it's just maintenance right now keeping up on laundry keeping up on the house being cleaned and um, the dishes being done and things like that just to make myself feel better personally um, and so that was ex really exciting since then i have been having contractions and they are real contractions um they're painful sometimes they last like a full minute and they're really like big intense painful contractions and i feel them throughout my whole belly as well as like really really low um and i could just feel that they're that they're working um but they're very inconsistent so i'll have maybe a couple in a row they'll stack like that and then they'll totally go away um <clears throat> and then nothing for hours and hours and hours and then i'll have one huge one and then nothing and then an hour later another huge one and then nothing like it's just super like not even enough to time whatsoever um but i am getting them daily as well as nightly so i would say throughout the night i probably get like maybe five um the daytime totally varies and sometimes they're not as intense as other times and they feel more like a braxton hicks but i do have a good amount day and night that are real contractions so i know my body's getting ready um this is exactly what happened with my daughter and what happened is i started slowly dilating for like a, a week um maybe a little bit longer and then when active labor hit it was like just full on bam active labor and then it went super fast so i feel like that's the same thing that's going to happen this time around that my body's just slowly warming up getting ready um and i guess every little bit i do now is is a part that i don't have to do in active labor which i'm trying to be thankful for um but it is kind of a tease when you get that big contraction and you're like oh my gosh is this going to be it are they going to continue and then they don't I've been walking and exercising uh, with my daughter every day, I'm trying to, you know, stay active and, you know, now that I'm 38 weeks, I'm trying to like do all the things like eat spicy foods and get a foot massage <laughs> and like all these things that are supposed to induce labor. Um, but when your body's ready, it will be time. And so I don't want to like, I don't want the baby to come until the baby's ready. And I know that every day, the baby stays in my belly the healthier he or she will be when they're born and so i'm really trying to hold on to that and just it's okay taylor practice patience um and have a positive attitude about it so that's kind of where i'm at right now um i do feel so miserable overall and i feel like i've let myself kind of wallow in that a little bit and i'm trying to shake it off and just focus on so many things i have to be grateful for in this pregnancy i feel like i've just been waiting on this baby for a really long time because in my mind like subconsciously it feels like the clock started when i got pregnant the last time and then i went through the miscarriage and then we went through all the months of trying to get pregnant and not getting pregnant and then we finally got pregnant and it so it feels like the clock started back then with like trying to have a baby um 
and so I feel like I've been waiting on this one for a really long time and I'm just so ready for this stage to be over and for my baby to be in my arms and with me and so I can hold and kiss them and know that everything's okay and that they're healthy um I think that that's also why I'm just super super eager I'm excited and thankful that I've had a great pregnancy and I'm so thankful that I made it this far um, but I am definitely ready for the next part so thank you guys so much for watching um, if you want to check out my what's in my hospital bag video I did that one last time so you can look at that and if you have any video requests please let me know and I will give them a little peek and see if there's anything that um, I can do for you guys so thank you again for watching I will keep you updated hopefully my next video will be meet the baby but I have a feeling I'll have at least a 39 week update we'll see <laughs> thank you guys so much bye